Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to episode 121 today of the My Player Career Mode episode. You guys had the opportunity to vote on the last episode whether or not you wanted us to stay with Juventus or move over to the team that had made the offer for us, which of course was Manchester City. You guys chose to go to City back in the Premier League, so that is what we will be doing. Likelihood is as well that this will be our final pit stop in the way of, uh, of transfers, I guess you could say, because I don't think... We will transfer to another club after this. If we do, it will probably be on a loan deal, trying to help out maybe a uh, a less quality squad, let's call it. Um, maybe somebody who's not exactly winning their league every year, or, or at least up there. So, City, the plan of action is going to be to play a few games for you today. We've got more than usual. We used to play three per episode. We're going to try and bump that up to about five or so, and also keep it that way so we can get through the season a little bit quicker as well. We've got the FA Cup that we need to focus on. Having never won it before, it would obviously be nice to get that. That is the only trophy in England we are yet to win. And of course, we defeated City in the Champions League final last year with Juve as well. So it would be quite cool to get Pep a uh, Champions League trophy with Manchester City. As I said, I'm not sure if he's done it already or not. So uh, we'll have to... I don't know if I can check that or not. I don't, I don't know if there's like a way I can check past winners of the Champions League going all the way to the back. So I could actually see if he's won it or not. But... Hey-ho, maybe it'll be the first one. Who knows? But still, we took on Wolves for our first game in City Colours then. And actually, we assisted the goal too. KDB scored the only goal in the game after we laid a little pass through to him. And he just smashed it in the back of the net. He might be knocking on now in terms of age. But he's still able to convert the chance when it fell his way. And as such, the first win of this season was on the board. Now, unfortunately, I picked up a yellow card during this game. Which meant I was suspended for West Ham United. I must have picked up an accumulation of too many yellow cards. Which meant I had to uh, miss this one against West Ham. But we're going to be jumping from post right now into live, back to post, back to live. That's the way today's episode is going to run. So as I show you the same game against West Ham United, we jump to live com, And I'll be back shortly with some more post com for you. Enjoy. Here we go then for our first game against one of the big six. Liverpool away at Anfield. Not going to be an easy game this one. But one thing to show you. Champions League draw for Manchester City. I'm not actually sure they've won a Champions League in the time we played this series. I'm not... 100% certain. Obviously, we beat them in the final with Juve last year, so we stopped them there. Um, but Dortmund, Lille and Fenerbahce are the three sides drawn in Group A. Where are Juve? Oh, Barca are in Group C with Liverpool, um, Bromby and Stanley Age. And Juve are in Group E with Schalke, PSV and CSKA, so that's not too bad either. So, time to go to Anfield, see if we can get the victory here. Yet to score in that first game that we played, but we did assist KDB's goal, um, which proved to be the winner, of course. So, Anfield, tough place to come. That's the team. Let's get into it. Bergwin, lovely ball out wide to Silva de Oliveira, and he's going to carry forward. Up against him is Audrey Zola, a man that at the moment is still a City player, but he's had Real Madrid looking at him in this window, and now Barcelona as well said to be interested. We spring a ball out wide to the right, though. And Fernan Torres there. That's not a great control, is it? I mean, there was nothing wrong with the pass. The pass was fine. He should have he got the ball under control, but maybe just lost a bit of concentration again. De Oliveira is in down this left. He's, he's going quite a long way up from fullback. And it's something that City are going to have to watch. He puts the ball in towards the box. Max is, gets the clearance wrong. And Firmino scores. Liverpool 1. City 0. I guess it doesn't really matter what team you go to. The defence in this game just seemed to have the same sort of ideas no matter what team you're playing for. A really poor clearance from Max. And it's cost the City dearly. Liverpool one up and it's Firmino who's got the goal. I mean, that there, I don't know what he's trying to do. Either put it out or smash it away. Don't play it back in your own box. Quality finish from Roberto Firmino, though. I mean, if you actually look as well at where the goal stems from, it stems from our ball over the top to Torres. Missed control, goes out for a throw-in, and then somehow, a few minutes later, they end up breaking up the left-hand side and end up scoring. Kovacic here for Liverpool. They look by far the better side so far in the opening sort of exchanges here. Max will win back the ball, though. Louise now got an opportunity to play that down the left-hand side where we've given him the run two. Running the channel means we've got nobody in the box, though, as now there is potentially some support arriving. There it is, in the form of Sane! And Leroy Sane smashes City back in level terms. What a finish. May not be scoring the goals, but we certainly are assisting them. Just waiting for the support to arrive. Sane just gets on it, and that is a thunderous finish from the German. 1-1. Oh, lovely, lovely ball from Torres. Splits the defence in two. And I tried to find the chip over Alisson, but it was not going to work from there, was it? I was on the right foot. Didn't fancy my chances. Thought he might commit himself. But as a Brazilian stayed put, and it led me to try and chip him, which was not going to find the back of the net. Good flick down, though. We will find Sane. 
30 minutes on the clock. City growing into the game now. Leroy Sané's ball towards the edge of the area, towards us. A little bit of trickery gets us past a couple of players. Dig the ball in and there is KDB. And it's a second assist for us as well. Complete turnaround. What a first half we have had here for the neutrals to watch from Anfield. Half an hour gone. Liverpool 1, City 2. I might be here to score the goals, but for the moment, I'm just the lane on a plate guy. You finish him off. Get in. Again, though, it comes from largely not a lot as the ball is just chipped back in. KDB wants it more. And Alisson gets a right hand down, but he can't make the save. Uh, it's so unfortunate, isn't it, for the goalkeeper. He does get something on it, as you can see, but nowhere near enough to really do much with that. And it's 2-1, so I don't think that's going to be the end of the goals. The way this game started suggests there's going to be more in this. Will I get one today? Louise finds us with a header. I just want to have a goal maybe as we burst in towards the box. And there it is, right footage straight to Alisson. Tell you what, it was a decent effort on the right foot. At least I hit the target. You guys have seen in the past sometimes my right can go anywhere. Literally anywhere. So at least we got it on target. Corner swung in. That's the first shot of the second half. It comes out to the edge. Towards the edge of the area. And it's the first. Oh, no. It looked like it was going to be the first goal for us in City Colours. <laughs> We caught it so sweetly. Oh, man. Imagine that for a first goal for your new club. That would have been something. Off the crossbar. And with 18 minutes to go, it remains City 2, Liverpool 1 as a few changes come through. What a strike. Still in search of this equaliser. Liverpool, lovely ball. And what a save by Edison. Oh, my goodness. The offside flag stayed down and Bergwin surely must have thought he'd equalised. But the nose of Edison keeps him out. And the City goalkeeper somehow has kept them 2-1 in front. Near post corner. Brereton all the way across and it should have been in. Liverpool with a late surge in, in search of this equaliser. My goodness me, they should have got it. Lovely flick on from Sane and we've won the 50-50 battle against Franco. There's one player in particular trying to stop us from advancing, but he's played across the face of goal and it should have been finished. City's number eight. I'm not sure who it is. Uh, Samaseku. It's actually taken a deflection, but we'll let him off for that then. Deflection comes through and we are a minute away from seeing out a 2-1 win. Salah's going to get this with ease from the corner and he's brought in a control as well. And there goes the referee's full-time whistle. Our search for a first City goal continues, but we set up both of the City goals today in a 2-1 win. And we hit the crossbar. So on another day, we might have got ourselves our first goal for the club. Doesn't necessarily matter at this point. The win is still ours. And we will take the three points, meaning a completely 100% record start to the season. KDB has now scored, I believe, three and four. As has also Leroy Sane. So they're both on real, real good terms right now. And like I said, a 9.3 even without scoring. A man of the match display as well. Two assists on the day. I'll take that. How's about that then, my friends, for the game against Liverpool? I really enjoyed that. It was actually a very, very enjoyable game to play. Now, we had some England duty to uh, contend with. I did say we would probably play our final game for England in that World Cup in 2026. Well, we had some European qualifiers. And on the basis that we continue, I thought I'll just play against Italy. Um, my plan is not to play all of these because I think we would uh, be able to beat some of the other teams without me having to play them. But Italy, they're a good side, so I thought I don't want to take any chances. We'll go and name our... Well, we're in the team, so I'll play it. I was going to say name ourselves in the team, but I don't do that because I'm not the manager. But you get what I'm saying. Like, I could have simmed it, but I chose to play it instead. We scored inside the first few minutes, across from the wide area, converted. Then Deli Ali smashed in a second for England to make it 2-0 after about half an hour or so. We were running rampant here in this game, let's just say that. And, of course, being the world champions after we defeated Spain in that World Cup final a few episodes ago now... You'd expect this result to go the way. But then we made it 3-0 in the second half. Ten minutes to go. Phil Foden smashing in from close range. And the thing that surprised me about him as well, he's playing his football right now for West Ham United. So they've actually got a decent team, West Ham. So that, that sim game you saw earlier could have literally gone either way. But of course, City did take the win in that one. And with two minutes to go, to Anzebe's ball found its way through to Griffiths. He put the cross in and we doubled our tally for the night and made it 4-0 to England. To see the game out, get three points in the European Championship qualifiers. And that is the way you want to start off a group stage, isn't it? Defeating somebody like Italy 4-0 sends a serious message. And also, our first two goals of the new season then, I guess you could say. Because we did score twice there for England. Um, we haven't scored for City yet in the opening game we played. So, 
I guess, well, opening two games, I should say. So I guess that's our first couple of goals of the season. They've come for England. Not too bad, eh? I need to work out how many goals you've got for England because that was something that I forgot to do in the past series. Is, but this time I'm going to have to go back and take a look at the videos and then try and work out how many goals and how many games we scored for England. That would be a pretty cool statistic to add to it. So I'm going to try and do that. It's probably going to take quite a while because I don't know every single England game that I have played. But I bet you it's a pretty good record. Let's just say that for sure. Into the next one for City then. And we were at the Etihad. And it was time for the game against Leicester. And we had two minutes on the clock before City had the lead. Leroy Sane bursting down the left-hand side. We just played the easy ball in towards him. And he smashed it home to give the home side the advantage. But it was assist king for me right now. That's what I was looking like. Sane looking to return the favour. Fantastic defence cutting ball. I don't know what's wrong with me. In these sort of areas, I'm usually clinical. I put it wide. Generally... Just disappointing myself. <laughs> it was really, really poor. I should have got it on target at the very least. And then it was time for 2-0. Zadrian Rabio rose highest from a corner to head City 2 in front. Not a lot Leicester City could have done about that. It was just one of those goals where nobody really picking up the correct men. And Rabio just gets that header on target. And as soon as it's going towards goalkeeper, it's a difficult task for it. Ask him to save it. And that proved to be the case. But there was time for Leicester actually. And a mistake made. From us, gave the ball away really cheaply and a fantastic finish coming in from one of the Leicester City players. As I think it was Kasper Dolberg laid the ball in towards Kronvonovic. Um, probably butchered it, most likely the case. So 2-1 in the game, needing to see this out. I had the opportunity to finish it off here as I got through yet again and yet again couldn't hit the target. I was thinking, please do not come back to bite us in the backside because that's going to make me look stupid. Rabio makes a tackle, doesn't get away with the ball. Shot comes in and the upright is what stops Leicester City from finding an equaliser in the game. 15 to go. So quite lucky there to not be back on level terms, especially the chances that I had missed because I would have looked very red-faced, wouldn't I, if we had have gone on to have, uh, to have drawn or even lost this game. I'd have been like... So embarrassed, put it that way. Two shots that I should have got on target on both occasions. Didn't get either one of them on target. So I need myself to blame for that one. But another victory. And we then headed into our first Champions League group stage game. The group itself actually has been pretty decent. We've got Lille, Dortmund and Fenerbahce are the three sides we've drawn, been drawn against. I feel pretty confident getting out of that group. So Fenerbahce with a first group stage game, I think away from home. Again, just wanted to see this out and make sure we got the results. Inside the first half on the stroke of half time. We got our first City goal, and it came from a cross, converted with a head. If you'd have said that to me, I would have thought you were talking silly if that was going to be our first goal for City in uh, in these this time around. But it is the case. We got our first header, our first goal as well. And in the second half, we laid it through to Sane, thinking, get in there, 2-0. Fantastic save onto the bar, but Torres just was on hand to tap it home. And Fenerbahce's night went from bad to worse, in all honesty. But it was a difficult ask. You know, when you come up against a team like City... With all the attacking intent and fluidity they have, to, to come up against them and try and defend is just not something that works. You know, we saw that pretty much in the first few games that we've been here. We're seeing that they can craft chances, even if it's not myself that's putting them in the back of the net. There's other players around that are doing it as Torres gave himself the brace in this one. Really quite lucky to get it back off the post. The Fenerbahce, they did get a chance themselves and they took it. The ball was bouncing around in City's area. And eventually fell to one of their players as he smashed it into the bottom corner to make it 3-1. But it proved only to be a consolation because it was a 3-1 victory for Manchester City. Winning start to the Champions League group stages. Winning start to the Premier League. It has gone so well so far. But my friends, for the last game of today, in live commentary, we have got a very, very special game for you. And that is the Manchester derby over at Old Trafford. Enjoy it. Now then, my friends, to end off today's episode of My Player Career Mode, we have got ourselves our first Manchester derby at Old Trafford as a winning start to the season for City. Sees them win five out of five. For United, it's fifth place, four points behind their, uh, their City rivals. So, let's jump into this. We're yet to score a first Premier League goal for Manchester City, but I'm sure... With the, uh, the goal we got in the Champions League, that might help us get a bit of confidence ahead of this one. I see Chong on the left-hand side there, wondering what their side's going to look like. We will find that out right now as we head into game. City versus United at Old Trafford. And here we go then. Both teams have made their way out and Manchester City sit 11th. Uh, not 11th, sorry. First in the goal-scoring charts with 11 goals to their name in their first five Premier League fixtures. On that topic as well... Um, we've actually got more assists than uh, than games so far. I think we've got four assists in our first three appearances in the Premier League. 
which is pretty decent if I do say so myself. So I'm quite happy with that. Yet to score though, that's the biggie. Are we going to grab our first goal here today as we shake hands with the City, uh, sorry, the United players? Question is, what is their side going to look like? That's Reese Oxford, I believe, there. So he's in their side. Mustafi. Yeah, quite interesting to see some, uh, unfam well, not unfamiliar, but like unfamiliar to Man United. Like Mustafi, obviously former Arsenal, Oxford, West Ham United. Those type of players. We've got De Gea in goal. And that is obviously going to be our tough task today, trying to beat him. Cancelo, Oxford, Mustafi and Sorachi as a back four. In the midfield three, Vendel, Rodri and Milinkovic, Savic. As always, he seems to always go to Man United. Chong, Werner and Rashford. How about that front three then, my friends? On the bench, Silva. Not sure if that's Bernardo Silva. Um, Cucurella as well and a couple of other players too. For us though, you saw our lineup. Edison in goal. Audrey Zola, Lianco, Yanyon and Max at the back. Same formation as we played Douglas Luiz, Rabio, and KDB in the midfield. He is in fine form right now, KDB, with Torres, myself, and Leroy Sane up front. KDB is the man we're looking at. Scored something like three and three, and I've assisted all three of those, I believe. So we are looking at him to potentially put the ball in the back of the net today, and we'll see how this game's going to go. Immediately giving a free kick away. Not a great start, is it? Here is Werner for United as he looks easy ball to Milinkovic Savic. Right under control and the back heel to Rashford and that's a good save from Edison. And it will be cleared away by City as well. I mean, at that point, it's not a great defensive effort, is it, from City? It's uh, easy in the end for United to carve them open and Rashford it is with the chance. I mean, here is Rashford again as he looks to place one and it seemed to be a really strange save from Edison. By all accounts, thought he should have done a little bit better with that, maybe. But it's still the save nonetheless. And at the moment, United will be by far the happier team after this first half. City unable to really keep the ball here. But we might be able to break away down the left. And there is a bit of space for us too. Sane not really committing the defender. So I'm going to have to go alone here, which is that's what we've done. And just forced De Gea into a save. Sane there didn't give us a run, which really helped. Because he was running towards us. And as soon as he does that, I can't find a cross because you're right next to me. Just had to look for the, uh, the the cross shot across the face of David De Gea and hope maybe he would palm it back out to the on-running Torres. But it didn't happen. And after the first half, it's nil-nil at Old Trafford. United will be by far the better side, or by, be the happier side, I should say. Rabiot, Audrey Zola, Douglas Luiz, his cross. That's a great delivery. Oh, what has just happened here then? Oh, my goodness me. Own goal, I think. Own goal. Because Douglas Luiz is the man running off celebrating. It was a cross that really shouldn't have done too much for Man United. It's a decent delivery, but here... Yeah, it's gone off the head of Mustafi. And David De Gea, it's a problem again because you can see he should deal with it. He really should deal with it. I've got no idea why he's doing what he's doing. That comes down to EA. He's not even looking at the ball. He's looking at the, uh, the far post. I mean, that's what frustrates me the most about this is that, like, that goal there shouldn't go in. De Gea just would have dealt with that with ease. Oh, man, it's frustrating when you concede goals like that. Luckily, we've scored that, and it does give City the lead here, but I can sense a lot of the Man United fans will be very, very, very frustrated with that, especially the way that David De Gea just leaves it. And again, I can't blame him. It's the way it's the, uh, the game is, and he should save it every day of the week. Got to be a better pass from Leroy Sane, and I might have been able to get that ball under control. He saw me short a little bit there. Vendel's going to find a lovely pass to Milinkovic Savic, and look at the space he's got here. Picked the wrong pass, though, didn't he? Rashford was over on this other side in acres of space. He got the beating of Audrey Zola, but the wrong pass by Milinkovic Savic was picked. And now City can break. It's with Torres. He's going to look to try and find a pass on the inside. He's going to get it as well. Rabio's ball through towards us. Lovely play, and we're in behind for our first goal for City in the Premier League. And what has just happened there? I mean, we shouldn't be leading, so I can't complain because we got a lucky goal. But for whatever reason, I tried to hit the shot. It seemed like we were stopped. And although he didn't go to ground, if there is a touch, it stopped us having the effort as Man United now look for it. And it's Edison who saves it straight at him at the end. It's poor from United. But what on earth happened to us up the other end a second ago? Why could we not hit that shot? Corner ball, last minute of the game. And then obviously injury time added on as it's sent towards that near post. And we got the volley in. And oh my goodness, what a goal. For your first goal for your new club in the Premier League. How's about that as we run to the billboards and sit on them right in front of the Man United fans, rubbing it in even further. This just wouldn't happen, would it? Could you imagine the abuse that would be thrown at us there if we celebrated right in front of their fans? You can see the City fans at the other side are getting to watch this. 2-0 City, 90 minutes on the clock. 
David De Gea probably should have saved the first one. I'm not sure he could have done a lot about this one. I mean, we caught it sweetly, didn't we? Our backs to goal and everything. And somehow we've been able to turn it on target. That is quite spectacular. I mean, there actually, he does pull out of the save, David De Gea. Not at the greatest time of things here as a Spaniard, does he? I mean, I'll take it. It's our first goal in the Premier League. And what a way to get it as well. 2-0 to City. Three points secured. 18 points out of a possible 18 to start off the Premier League season. Six games, six wins, zero defeats along the process. And it's looking very, very good as we bring episode one of our new club. Obviously, episode 121 now, I think this will be, of this one to a close. And my friends, that is going to be the end for today. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated as always. Thank you for your continued support. I really appreciate that as well. If you are new around here, like what you see, hit that subscribe button. We upload every single day for you to enjoy. If you want to be notified as well, whenever new videos go live, make sure you have the notification bell switched on alongside the subscribe button. First place for City in our new club. I'm going to try and give you about four or five games an episode now instead of the uh, three that we were doing before just to kind of keep things ticking along nicely, especially if we are to play FA Cup. So I'm not interested in the Carabao Cup. That will be simmed. FA Cup, though, having not won it yet, I will be trying to play as much of that as I can. Obviously, the Champions League as well. You may have already seen the Champions League draw, but here it is again for anybody wondering. We've been drawn against Dortmund, Lille and Fenerbahce, having already beaten Fenerbahce by three goals to one in the first game. That's it for today. I will see you all again tomorrow. Uh, sorry, that's not it for today. Got that wrong. I will see you all again tonight, I should say, for an episode of Der Rafschap. And then tomorrow, play a career story on the Saturday. Should be back for the penultimate episode of season one. So make sure you don't miss any of the videos on the channel by hitting that notification bell and hit subscribe, as I said earlier. And I'll catch you all again tonight for another video. Hopefully, anyway, we'll see. That's the plan. My internet, though, has been a bit, bit rubbish like yesterday. So fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll catch you all then, guys. <laughs> Adios.